she reaches out her hand and says, Hi, I'm Kylie. You hear that bass drop? I do. It's Jared and Sable. What's going on, guys? My name is Jared, and I hope you all are having a wonderful day because I'm having a wonderful day. Before I get into this story, I'm just gonna say this right now. Stop whatever you're doing. Grab your snacks, grab your drinks, grab anything that you need because this is about to be a really interesting story. This is a story that I have never really told. Some of my friends have been asking me about this story for a really, really long time and I kind of told them pieces here and there and about this, but I didn't have a YouTube channel at the time, so now, I am coming on here today to explain to you guys the time that I met Kylie Jenner and Tyga, King Gold Chains, T-Raw, Tyga, and Kylie Jenner. So this all started last summer in July, and I was going on a trip to Budapest, which was a layover from, I started in LAX, and it went to London Heathrow Airport, and then it finally ended up in Budapest, which I found out later on that she also went from London to Budapest as well, so it was literally the same exact destination. But now let me tell you guys real quick, when you guys are doing a 48 hour turnover trip, a rollover, whatever you want to call it, and it's quick, don't bring 1600 million, 2000 million trips, all you need to bring is one simple bag with you. That's all you need. One bag that you carry on and take with you. I know people that bring like all these type of luggages and things. You don't need it. This is all you need and it works. It does the job because it's just a turnaround trip. So on this particular day, I woke up super, super early because I found out about this trip last minute. And I happened to be scrolling through my Twitter timeline feed and I noticed that Kylie Jenner tweeted, my Instagram's insight says most of my followers are from London. She tweeted this at 4.23 a.m. on July 9th. Now, I didn't really think anything of that because I'm just kind of like, okay, well, you know, she's kind of world-renowned famous, she's on TV, she's a really big celebrity, she's beautiful, she's on magazine covers, billboards, you name it, she's a businesswoman, all of that. So in my mind, I'm kind of like, maybe she's just kind of showing love to the London fans or something like that. And so at that time, I was just like, all right, well, I need to throw all of my stuff in the bag and, you know, head out to LAX airport because I'm gonna catch the flight. So I got in the Uber, the Uber took me all the way to LAX airport, and during this time, my Uber driver was like, I can't really take you right to the Virgin Atlantic, because we took Virgin Atlantic, so he couldn't take me right in front of where you can go into the terminal, because they had some type of regulations where Ubers couldn't actually drive right up to the terminal. So he said, okay, I'm gonna drop you off right outside, kind of where like the rental cars, heard some like different rental car stations were, and then I would have to walk. It wasn't that far, it was maybe like, a few hundred feet away from where the actual terminal was. So I was like, okay, that's fine. So I got out of the Uber, and then as soon as I got out of the Uber, I noticed that there was like some like people like grouped together, but like they were like paparazzi, you could tell because they had a lot of backpacks on and heavy equipment. They had shoulder bags and, and like big cameras with long like telephoto type lenses and different things. Some of them were hiding behind like pillars. Some of them were in the plants, poor plants. And they were just kind of all around just hiding out. And I was just kind of like, okay, well this is LA, this is LAX. I'm sure celebrities come here all the time and just they're probably staking out waiting for a celebrity to come. I don't really know. I don't really know what this is because I was focused on getting to the Virgin Lounge and getting on my flight. So at this point I'm walking into the Virgin Lounge and how Virgin works is if you're flying first class you really don't have to go through like a security check and like a lot of different things. You kind of basically have like you basically already, everything is set in place for you. They kind of just walk you in straight to the lounge. You relax, you basically can drink and eat and do whatever. They have like snacks, they have TV, they have Wi-Fi, they have, you can like charge your phone, you can go on the computer, you can do a lot of things. It's actually, and they even have showers. Like you can do basically whatever you want or would like to do like if you were at home. It's really like the comfort of your own home. So while I was sitting in the lounge, I was just chilling there. I was on my computer, I was just on the internet, things like that. And then I kind of look to the right and like I see a group of guys. And I'm like, wait a minute, like one of them kind of looked familiar. It was like a bunch of guys together. And I'm like, what? But it was like, I was seeing the back of them because they were kind of huddled up in a like a semicircle, but kind of like in the distance, but within the same lounge. So at this point, I'm really trying to figure out like, who is this person here? But he's kind of like, it seems like this is like celebrity or something. And interesting enough, it was Tyga. 
Tyga had on a red cap and a black sweater. It's actually funny that I'm actually wearing this today because it's, it's similar to kind of what he was wearing, but he kind of had like a hoodie and a red snapback where I have like a red beanie and like a, a black uh, pullover or something. But that's neither here nor there. The point was, I was kind of wondering, okay, if Tyga's here, maybe Kylie's here because I remember she did tweet what she tweeted. But still at this point, I'm like, it's LA. You see celebrities all the time. You know, I don't really, I didn't really think I was gonna see two in one day. So then I turn to my left, then I turn to my right again, and I don't see anything. It's still them, you know. I'm kind of looking around, but I'm not trying to make it obvious because, you know, it's just everyone, I let, you know, people mind their own business. Like, you just do what you do. So I'm on my computer, whatever, and then I hear like Tyga say something like, or just like make a motion, kind of like somebody, oh, like we're over here or something. And then I kind of look in that direction, and it's Kylie. She's coming out the bathroom, and she's wearing like a Yeezy, like a uh, sweatshirt, and she has on like leggings. So just very, very casual, and she's coming out and she's walking towards the group so I was like oh wow they really are here but because like okay here's how it works like if you are in version Atlantic or in any kind of like lounge area for any of the airlines just because someone is in that lounge does not mean that they're going to be getting on your plane or going to the exact destination where you're going so I was thinking okay maybe they're in this lounge but I doubt that they're going to London Heathrow Airport let alone Budapest so it was kind of like crazy that it it all was the same thing so at this point, we're all starting to board the aircraft. Now, at this point, I really saw, like, I was looking at, Tyga and Kylie were finally together, and she had on, like, her Pablo sweatshirt, and the friends that they were with, that Tyga was with before, like, kind of went in a separate direction. I didn't really see them again after that, but Tyga and Kylie were kind of walking towards me because I was also boarding, and, like, we were kind of all boarding on the same, like, that little runway strippy tubey thing. And so they were basically walking in front of me and I walked behind them and I noticed when they when they were walking that Kylie had on this huge massive diamond ring like it was massive like I don't know like that that thing was huge like you could have blinded somebody with that but it was amazing because I was just thinking wow like love really does exist like this is so cool that she has this ring and like yeah all is good we're about to get on this plane and we're just making our way to London as we were approaching the end of the tube I noticed I'm looking through like this glass because it turns from like this metal tube and to like this glass thing where you can kind of see the plane I'm noticing that the plane is massive this is a 747-800 it is huge and I'm going on the upper deck well me Tyga and Kylie are going on the upper deck and I'm like this plane is huge I don't even know how something like this can get in the air but it did and when I looked inside the first thing I noticed is it was like this bluish hueish LED mood lighting I looked on the ceiling and it was like stars I really felt like I was in some type of space aircraft I'm looking around, I'm seeing like red and green and pink and purple and like all of these amazing colors. All of the seats are leather, like this plane is so beautiful, it almost feels like I don't even understand how this is a plane. Like once you get inside, you don't even feel, you just feel like you're in like Star Wars or something like from the future. Virgin Atlantic honestly really does have the best planes, like, it's just amazing. Like, it's really, really insane. So everyone's putting their stuff in the overhead bins, and I sat around like two pods away from Kylie and Tyga because how this works is like everyone has their own mini like pod. It's basically like your own apartment, I guess you would call it, in the sky. Like, it has a live flat bed, it has your own TV screen, it has two TV screens, by the way. One is a bigger one, a touch screen, and one is like a smaller one, like almost like a tablet that you can take out and like punch in stuff. You can order food, movies, TV shows, surf the web. You can basically do all of that stuff because it's like the convenience of your own kind of thing. So you can also put up a privacy screen. So everyone has like their own pod. They kind of were across, but like two pods in front and I was kind of behind. Also, I noticed that no one really noticed Kylie and Tyga when we were on the plane, but they also didn't notice them when they were kind of in the lounge. It was kind of like a different crowd, a little bit older mixed. And really, I only saw one person come up to her and take a picture with her. So it was kind of like she was able to just relax and enjoy her time, get away from like the paparazzi and the fans but I do think that coming in maybe she had a little bit of difficulty with the paparazzi because when the uber did come approach it was kind of like they were it was so you guys like it was ridiculous like they they were it was almost like I would say at least a hundred people with cameras like so I don't really know how she got through that and I don't really know the chaos that kind of ensued as she was going into version but 
when we were inside of the lounge, nobody noticed her. And when she boarded the aircraft, nobody was bothering her and it was just very peaceful and cool. So we're all preparing for takeoff at this point. Everyone is unwinding and I noticed that Kylie's taking off all of her makeup. She's getting really comfortable and cozy. And by the way, Kylie looks amazing without makeup. She is beautiful. She's a beautiful girl with and without makeup. And yeah, so we all got cozy. Most people went to sleep. I know I did, she did, Tyga did, everybody went to sleep. Now this is a long haul flight, about 14 to 15 hours. So of course you're gonna get thirsty. And about five hours in, I wake up from my slumber and I'm like, I need a drink. <laughs> so Virgin actually has a full bar. Like you can call someone over to bring you like a drink or anything, but they also have a bar. The bar, you can get soda, you can get juice, you can get alcohol, wine, beer. Like they have all types of things and little snacks and things like that. So I walk over to the bar and I'm trying to get like some type of non-alcoholic beverage, something like a tonic water or something. I love sparkling water. I think it's the best thing when you're dehydrated to just drink sparkling water. It just tastes really good, especially with lim li ah! lemon, lime, sparkling water is the best thing when you are parched. It tastes so good and it's just so hydrating. So as I approach the bar, I look to my right, I look to my left and I don't see anyone. But you know, it's kind of like, it was kind of like one of those scary movie moments, you know, like in the scary movies where you look to your right and then you look to your left and you don't see anything. But then when you look back, like you see something, that's literally exactly what happened. I kid you not. Like I look to my right, I look to my left, I see nothing. And then when I look back to my left, Kylie's there. And then she reaches out her hand and says, hi, I'm Kylie. At this point, I was so shook. I was like, who? I mean, I know who you are, but it's like I didn't want to let her know, so I said, I just kind of gave her what she gave me, and I was like, hi, I'm Jared. And we shook hands, and then we laughed. We just cracked up. Like, we were like, ha 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 ha. And it's kind of funny too because I didn't I don't know when she woke up I didn't know where she came she just kind of came out of nowhere and she just introduced herself and it was like a really funny moment to have so from there we just had some kind of very light conversation she was asking me what were you gonna be doing in London and I was like I'm actually going to Budapest she was like me too and I was like oh really and she was like yeah and I was like wow and I was it was just kind of like one of those moments where we were just having casual conversations nothing was weird nothing was awkward she was nice she was actually super Super nice like it's so funny too when you see someone on TV and you see how they are how funny they are how like warm they are how like nice they are and how much they just are just a regular person and to meet them in person to have them actually exude that same kind of energy is just so comforting and if Kylie if you're watching this which you probably are then you are a nice person and you are amazing and you're beautiful with and without your makeup mind you this whole conversation is taking place at the bar so the bartender finally comes over and she's like can I get you guys anything? And then Kylie's like, I'll take an orange juice. And I was kind of like, okay, well, uh, I'll take the same because it was just kind of one of those moments where it's like, okay, you're interrupting this conversation that we're having. And so we both got our orange juice and here we are sipping our orange juice with little umbrellas in it, just talking at the bar. And it's funny, we're talking about different things and foods we like, and I was like, I really like chocolate, and she was like, I really like chocolate too, but I hate chocolate cake. It's like this long, it's like really funny. And then she also says that she wants to become an actress, which is, I'm like, wow, okay, that's really cool. I mean, you're used to being in front of cameras and on TV, so I really feel like acting would be a great, great lane for you to go in. She was then telling me like how she kind of has anxiety about like starting like an acting career, but she knows that she's like gonna conquer it and kill it because she's been acting since she was like 13 in like different schools plays and stuff and I was also telling her yeah I've acted before too and I've been in things and I've auditioned since I was like seven years old and even still to this day I'm a little bit nervous doing like the cold reads and like doing scripts and stuff but really you just have to focus on what you like want to focus on and if you know that you're good at it and you know that you're really good for a role just go out there kill the role and get the part so we talked a little bit more after that. We finished our orange juice. I said, you're awesome, you're cool, you're amazing, you're so nice. She told me I had really good energy. I told her, you have really good energy. And then we went back to our pods and we went to sleep for the duration of the flight. So the next morning we're landing in London. And when we wake up, I hear Kylie say, tea! <laughs> And the tire kind of jumps up, like kind of bolts up, kind of disheveled and stuff. I feel like he kind of slept the whole 14 hours. He was really tired. And he, they start to get their luggage. We all start to get our stuff out of the bins and we proceed to walk off the plane 
back down that tubey thing, boarding our next flight to Budapest. Overall, they were really nice, just regular people, so down to earth, so funny, like just chill, chill people. Like when they were walking off, they were joking, they were laughing, I was laughing, I was walking behind them, as you can see here, and it was just like they were just the best. So yeah, I hope you really enjoyed that story time where I met Kylie Jenner and Tyga. Like, it was so crazy meeting King Gold Chains and Kylie Jenner. I mean, you see them in the media, you see them on TV, you see them and now you see them in person and they're awesome. And like, it's really interesting too because when I thought a 14, 15 hour flight was just gonna be a regular boring flight, it turned into something really awesome and cool. I really got to meet a beautiful girl, by the way, which was awesome and yeah. Leave it in the comments below if you've ever had any celebrity encounters. I wanna hear it. What, were they nice? How were they? And if you want to hear any more story times, because I've met so many celebrities, if you want to hear any of those stories, let me know also in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Let's try to get this video to 100 likes. And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe and turn post notifications on. And until next time, peace, love, and abundance of joy.